Hi, we're Brett and Jill Lynn Mosner, and we're pretty excited today. We're getting ready to take off to pick up our very first camper van. It's Let's a go. Sprinter Rebel, yes. <laughs> and we've been waiting 11 months for this thing, is that right? Yeah. It's been a long time. We're really excited, sitting here at the airport, getting ready to take off for Iowa to the Winnebago factory. We'll keep you updated. So here we are at the Winnebago factory and say welcome to the Squatch Dog. A brand new 2022 Sprinter Van Revel 44E. We are so excited. Don't come with it. And this is Kelly. He's going to show and us this what this up. thing does. You know, we like to have you look at the ceilings and stuff on the coaches like every six months or so. Okay. And if you see anything that looks iffy, you know. You can uh, find out from us what you should buy to put on it or go to a dealer. So, and this back here, you know, that's just your basic hitch. You'll have to get yourself a receiver if you want to pull something behind it. And then it's got the seven pin and okay. it's all ready to go back there. And what about the right here? Is the, That's the gray water, I understand. So, hmm, this deal here. But that's where your hose goes. Okay, and there is a hose with it? Yeah, it's inside. Black tank. <laughs> and you have to hold them both like this. Like a set. And then this key locks that. We'll be able to open that. That pulls out, and then the blue handle under here. Mm -hmm. you pull it out. Like so. And that's it's like you, a little suitcase. That's what you take to the restroom and dump, Joel. No, that's what you take to the restroom and dump. And this, Brad. it even has a little. Yeah. So you can wheel it. <laughs> <laughs> and it just, this spins. And you take that off. And then, this is just an air release. This is a float deal in there that tells you when it's full. We have a bag in there with books and stuff. Yep. And I mean, I can show you the basics of it, but if you want to know more about it, down here is where you dump. This is for your gray. Gotcha. And you just, and you just, the hose that'll be back in that deal, put uh -huh. different hooks on it, and then you'll find your dump station and stick the hose down in. This is the cord. And it hooks on here like this. And it has, you can see how it's got the... Kind of like a dryer. L-shape in there, which goes on this one. Like a dryer attachment. You just line it up, push it on, and then right here you can see where it says lock. And it goes over, and then gotcha. this one, you just line that up and that just keeps it from popping off of there. So how, what do you find as far as uh, campsites? This would be plenty long most of the time, probably. But if we want to yeah. hook it up to our house or something. Yeah, what do you do? Well, if you're going to hook it up to your house, if you're only going to hook it up to 15 amp, mm -hmm. which, yeah. is, which is your basic household deal, yeah. you can get a um, An adapter. pigtail that goes from 15 to 30. With this one, you should be able to be off. Gotcha. But, um, you know, we can do that in our camper too, but it's like if, I'm, if, if I can plug in, I'm going to plug in. Your fresh tank drain. That's to drain it. And then when you winterize, you can open these up. They're fresh water drain, but they're like a low point drain. So, so you won't the it. antifreeze come out? Yeah, open them up, shoot a little antifreeze out of them. Oh, oh you just open them up for a second. Yeah, get a little antifreeze to shoot out of them. And then. Yeah, and then them, shut it again. You can treat them just like a faucet when you're winterizing. Or so, if you're draining the whole tank. Right? Yeah, if you well, the, this would be your tank, and this will just drain the water lines that are down under here. Yeah. Low points. This just runs off the battery. runs off your batteries. Mm -hmm. But when you know when you're plugged in, everything's running off the deal there too. It's not 110. This is 12. Brad volts. filled the fridge. Yep. And there's a little. Uh, <laughs> there's a book here. 
and a little ice cube tray. Ice cube tray for you. The baby little freezer that we have here. Yeah, not very small. Not much stuff. No. Nope. <laughs> not for some ice. I think the ice cube tray is gonna fit in there. That's about it. Ice cream. <laughs> and you put eggs in here, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Up here, but yeah, they're not huge. Your awning. Just get out. And if it's windy, I heard it retracts. Yeah, it has a sensor on it. And it's a it's a motion sensor. It's not a wind sensor. So if I were to shake it, it would go back in. And you could stop it. Like if I just hit in again, it'll stop it. So if it's windy, it's a little windy. Or if you're close to somebody like a rally or something and you right. don't want to go all the way out but you want yeah. a little bit. What's this one here? Oh your lights. Oh. Oh this. Nice. That's your solar disconnect. This one. So you turn that off to turn off the solar? Yeah. Going down like the road you can leave off. it on. Yeah. You can leave them all on. Yeah. When you're going down the road. And then this one here turns your batteries on. You just hold it when them two blue lights come on. It'll flash there a little bit, and then Zantex checks comes on. So do you use that while you're driving down the road too. The yeah. that's the battery inverter. Is that right? You can leave all that all that on. But see, here's your tank level. Oh. Um, your fresh water. You got two thirds in, and your gray waste tank is empty. Okay. You can turn it on here, turn it off back there. Turn it back on back up here, off back there. But if you have this turned off up here and you go back there to rinse off, you yeah. don't have to walk back up here to turn your pump on. You can turn it on right back there. So our tour of the uh, Rebel was a great success and we highly recommend coming to Forest City um, and picking up your van there. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, we introduce to you the Squatch Dog.